Veronica Statum. So while watching the videos this week, I noticed each video starts by inviting the client to open up about what it is that brought them in. While the client is talking, the counselor uses nonverbal listening skills to show understanding to the client. When natural silence comes at the end of a thought, the counselor paraphrases and reflects the feelings of the client as to see if he understands. The counselor then asks open-ended questions to which leads the client to open more in depth about what brought them in to see the counselor. In the first video, the client begins to open up about her relationship in general, and not just about the partner's work. The counselor relates the issue to internal thoughts and feelings. Once she began to stray the conversation away from the partner's work and more towards her own feelings about being home and keeping up the house as well as the relationship, the counselor stopped her there and summarized what they had gone over thus far. In the third video, the counselor paraphrased what the client had said so far and related it to feelings as well as summarized the internal conflict the client was having. Lastly, in the final video, the counselor asked open-ended questions to find out his feelings, how his feelings related to the culture. The counselor also used a tentative silence that was explained in Chapter 8 to get the client to explain more. So what was shown in the videos is a little different than what I had envisioned from my professional counseling career. I'm hoping to work more with kids, so I believe I will be a little bit more engaging and less repeating back to them what they tell me. I can see how paraphrasing and summarizing are important techniques to use when counseling, but I'm not sure I'll present it quite the same way when dealing with pre-adolescents. I'm sure I will use techniques such as paraphrasing in my practicing, and I will most definitely use skills such as reflecting feelings as well as reflecting meanings. The way the counselor approached paraphrasing while, it, while relating it to the feeling reflection was very appealing to me and how I would like to use paraphrasing skills in the future. Thanks!